Hi and welcome back to the Decentric Advanced Functional Training Series. In this video we will describe the functionalities related to email processing. In one of the previous videos about the email message fields and parameters, we explained the purpose of the email sending mode setting. When it is set to email processing, the prepared email message won't be immediately sent out from the D365F and O, but it will be added to the batch email sending state to stable, where it will wait for the email distributor batch to pick it up and send it. Why is this email processing mode so useful? Because we have a complete control of the important email messages that have been generated and sent by the system. We see what was sent and when, we also see if a message failed and why. We can review any message, modify and resend if needed. The Centric has extended the batch email sending status form with some useful improvements, so let's present them. But before that, as a side note, please notice the email description. It is based on the report caption set in the Docentric report setup, where we can use the Docentric placeholders. That's why I got the invoice ID included in the email description, which can be useful for filtering. First thing we can see on this form are some additional fields in the grid. Starting with the context information field and up to the end, the fields have been added by the Docentric extensions. They are here to help us find the record we are looking for based on the metadata such as account number or the identification of the document that was printed. These last two fields will be populated in case of the alert emails and they work as links to the related rule and notification. As you can see, the link on account number is functional and takes me to the related account, customer in this case. Once on the customer or vendor form, we notice the menu items under the general outgoing documents that have been added also by the centric. The batch email sending status menu item will take me back to the previous form filtered by the caller account. Let's see what else has been added by the centric to this form. We have this message menu button with three menu items. First one is Show Message. With it, we can quickly review the email message with all the fields that are added by Docentric, for example, BCC, Sender Email and Display Name, Reply to Address, Read Receipt Address, Attachments and Body. With Download Message, we download the actual email message as EML format so that we can open it in our mail client. Update message opens the same form as the show message menu item, but this time in the edit mode, so we can update it and for example resend it. This menu item works only with one selected record, but it can't support the bulk operations. That's why the Centric has added the update messages menu item. Let's say that the client asks us to resend them some or all of their invoices. We would filter this grid by the given customer. If necessary, filter further by the document type, but I have only sales invoice here anyway, so I will select all of these clients' invoices. Now these messages can be modified, so I will click the Update Messages menu item, and I will get a form where I can update any email message field I want, but I will update only the email recipient. When I apply this new recipient, we see that it has been modified in the original form and the next email distributor batch execution will send the waiting records, including these, this time to the new address. I will modify also some of these messages where sending has failed. To process the messages that are in the waiting status, we need to wait for the next execution of the email distributor batch, if it is scheduled to run periodically, or to trigger it manually, which I will do. 
We can do it from the standard menu item in the system administration, periodic tasks, email processing, email distributor batch. But we have also enabled a convenient access to it directly from this form. So I will click the email distributor, email distributor batch menu item. You will notice that the form that opens is the centric specific. Here is the reason. To support the additional email message fields that have been added by Docentric, we need an extended distributor batch that is aware of these fields. This extension we named Docentric Email Distributor Batch and we see the related form here. In order to use the Docentric Email Distributor Batch instead of the standard one, you must first enable it in the Docentric AX parameters, Emailing, Use Docentric Email Distributor Batch. While we are here, notice the second flag here, Enable Email Sending Log. We will soon see the related functionality. Notice that this form gives us a chance to filter the records we want to process. This further enables running different batch jobs for different records. For example, one batch job for sending outgoing emails with customer invoices and another batch job for sending the alert email notifications. I won't set any recurrence here, but I will simply execute this distributor once. After refreshing the page, we see that this previously failed message was now successfully sent, as well as the messages with the modified recipient. If we previously enabled the email sending log in the docentric parameters, then we can check the history of all relevant sending events of any record by clicking the sending log, another menu item that has been added by Docentric. Here we see that this message previously failed and here is the error message. Back to the previous form, we see another menu item under Email Distributor. It is Email Distributor Cleanup. It gives us a chance to delete in bulk the records from this form based on the creation date, latest status change date and additional filtering options. To summarize, in this video, we learned about the features related to email processing that have been implemented by Docentric. We saw how to enable it, where and how to track the processed email messages and sending log.